Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And earlier, I purchased and built this uh, Dominator FX pretty much as soon as it came out. Unfortunately, what I hadn't realized is I accidentally dragged the mouse across the window of my OBS and changed the framing on it so such that all the video looked like this. There it is, the Vapid Dominator FX for a cooler price of $1.5 million. If Daddy Issues had a 5 liter engine and retro styling, they'd look like this. Back in the day, you were conceived in the back seat, you were born in the front, and ever since the sound of a straight six? No, no, no. Oh, okay, here. A st the sound of a straight six has triggered an overwhelming need for validation. Okay, so that's the 5 liter VO, you know. You're implying it's got a six? That, that didn't make sense. The sound of a straight six has triggered an overwhelming need for validation. You've been seriously monogamous with stallions, gauntlets, and buccaneers, but nothing scratches the itch. It's time to form a relationship with the only hunk of emotionally unavailable steel that you could ever truly satisfy you, the Dominator FX. Okay, that, that threw me off, Joe. Like, don't, don't tell me you put a six in this. I mean, they came with sixes, but it's the 5-0. That's the whole point. Yep, yep, that was the entire video pretty much in the garbage. So, uh, here it is. Yeah, let's zoom in here. I've built it to look like an homage to a number of the 79 Mustangs that I had as Hot Wheels as a kid. It's not really an exact representation of any of them. It's very close on the standard Cobra kind of badging. It's really not far off. I put a little bit more red on it, just because it seemed like that would just balance nicely. This this is a good look. I gave it the wheels that kind of look like Hot Wheels wheels. I think that's what those are based on. Uh, the Matchboxes didn't have a spoiler, so I have a tiny, tiny lip spoiler just so I could get the uh, effect. And it is it is pleasant. I mean, it's a nice, nice set of wheels here. I did put a cage in it. Well, I don't think it's called a, 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 a dash dodger, but it is. And, uh, room. I have to get a Hot Wheels plate, or so I just put a Matchbox plate on it, because, you know, it's the genre. You bastard! I can't remember, was I not allowed to do that? Was there a reason? And now I'll have to drive this enough that it becomes one of the standard things you pick up on the, uh, on the website because you can't uh, you can't like, I'm limited they, they cut the number of plates you can have to like a maximum of like 22 or something like that so there's a lot of plates I just can't get to but here we are we have the car and I think you know what that means we're just going to we're just gonna cut right to the chase here Play job, my jobs, the race, the chilly odd hot lap route. I'm gonna throw an invite to Pankrow Jones, but it is like 7.30 in the morning. I don't know if he's gonna be up for that. Point to point GTA, the muscular ones. Have a day clear. For time of day noon, weather clear. Traffic I don't care. Additional options. Customs are on. Catch up is off. We'll turn off slipstream just to just to confirm the settings. We invite my friends from the friends list. There's only the one guy we want to do for the and there he is. He's the only one playing. I don't know if he's going to come on or not. We're going to see. Eventually. Yeah, I think there's a good possibility he's just set his computer up to idle or something. Or he's in the middle of something. So we're just, we're just going to do this. On our own. Again, it's 7.30 in the morning. He may have just turned this on. Getting a coffee, you know. 
Come on, where is she? There it is. In with the Dominators. Select and ready to play. I do, I do love this card. This is so close to my, the the cards I wore the paint off in my use, my youth. Two dudes. Okay, let's. Uh... This time we're gonna try the jump because I can't just reset. Oh, and it does it nicely. Still a little bit of a bouncy boy, but... He should beat the train. Ah, that just goes the bounce to bounce. But it doesn't feel like it has, like, handling flags or anything like that. It feels good. It's just that it's perhaps not an off-roader and I have competition suspension on it, so... It does the... Well, I did the video for the Dominator FX Intercept, right? Now, it doesn't like to just ride the rail. It tends to drift. It doesn't want to be a rail rider. But if it has similar performance, or identical performance, to the F, you know, the FX Interceptor, we should be fine. This should absolutely be a, a fine ride of Shiliad. Duh. Avoid that little, little mural there that can send you back down the mountain, as we've seen before. All right. Chiliad is a place that I take cars. It really isn't a place in real life that you would take cars. But this game is silly and unrealistic and you can die over and over again. And the people that you shoot are always in the next mission. They got Menendez! Again. Okay, unlike when I did this with the, uh, the Interceptor, I have to actually get that, so... Roll the descent back here. All right. It really does have great traction. Brumba, brumba, brumba. side of the rock. Transition to that side. And now hit the rock, don't hit the rocks. Woo! So we hit a tree. Almost turtled it all the way down, but we got it back. Alright. This is it does handle pretty nice. It's just woo. Oh all things considered, that wasn't too bad. Now we go full heat. Ah, that was a pretty good full heat. Oh, it was too good a full heat. Now we're trapped. All right. This technically would not be uh, permissible in a G Fred. In a G Fred, I would have to reset. But you know, it wasn't the car's fault. But I was silly.
Alright, that should that should be enough to get us out. In real life it wouldn't, you would need a tow truck, but on the plus side, train's gone. And again, booping yourself out in an actual G thread not allowed, but we're testing the car, not my G thread prowess as well, you know what I'm saying. We didn't put it in the river. No, no. You can see my character flopping around inside there. I mean, the main question was answered. Will this car go up to the end? Yes. It will absolutely do so. And if you maybe lose a little bit of control on the way down, you'll be fine. Good. I was going for the visually interesting there, the cinematic. And dismount. Almost too smooth. That is one of the most unrealistic things in GTA, is that I wouldn't be able to hear that guy say bite me, man, from inside his car. That's just not a thing. Unless I'm Clark Kent, then that's not going to happen, you know? Maybe Batman has some super listing devices, but I mean, you still, you're in superhero mode. Let's see if it'll make the jump. Ah, the bushes. The bushes strike again. I think this will have enough gumption to do this thing. Yeah, it's got gumption. It's got some hill climbing gumption. Let's take the gumption up the hill. It's a it's a funny old thing the way that you know, how the game calculates how well you do up a hill works. Such that, you know, this does a lot better than a lot of four-wheel drive off-roaders. It's got lots of, of grip and lots of power. Nice car. I like it. I'm the winner because i got... One of the cars of my dreams. I have wanted this in game for how long? They waited how many years? And the fact that they did give it delivery work, which can make it look kind of like a matchbox. Just lovely. It would have been nice. It'd be nice. Uh, it would have been nice if they gave us that little kind of starburst lightning bolt kind of pattern too. But I'll take this. This is fine. And let's see. Where's the vehicle? Manage vehicles. For remote, no, I always screw that up. Uh, vehicle preferences. You'd think this is the remote control for the vehicle, but no. no. Doors all. Pocket the gun. And same engine model as the the Interceptor. So we're running. We got a cop motor in this thing. You put it that way. I'm pretty sure that the, the cop motors, I don't know if they were hotter than what the regular 5 was either. They may have been. It's got it's got three pedals. It's it's on manual even though it's not. No uh no gun stuff in the back, although it is nice. It's a it's a well textured trunk. No, I'm totally digging it. Totally digging it. Yeah, I hit the wrong button here. I've been playing uh, a good bit of Fallout 4, and that's one of the... When you do this, you can change your view, if I recall. I'd have to... I think that's why I'm doing that. Just hit the view button. Mm, there it is. So nice. View. Look at you. 
And now I'm going to go edit this all together and get this up as soon as possible because it's been kind of an interesting thing. I finally got to do the editing and it was all boogered up. So we're just doing this now. It, it happened. Maybe it's a better video that way. Maybe it's a happy accident. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the happy accident. And uh, not that I was a happy accident. I, my, my parents wanted me. So <laughs> at least that's what they say. And I trust them. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. Uh, Absolutely.